How to view, change, and delete an existing customer. Click on the Customers tab to view, change, or delete customers. The Customer Maintenance screen will appear. There are three areas on this screen you need to be aware of. The first area has a set of buttons for you to specify what group of customers you want to work with. Click the appropriate button to choose customers that were active last year or active this year or were inactive, etc. The second area of the screen provides a search capability that allows you to search for customers by their account number, name or address, or any part thereof. For instance, if you wanted to look for a customer who lived on Harrison Road, you would enter H-A-R-R -R and click the Search Find Next button. The system will display the first occurrence of H-A-R-R. -R. Click the button again for the next occurrence until you see the customer you are looking for. Rather than doing a search for a customer, you can click the drop-down arrow and select from the list of customers which are displayed in the customer number order. The third area of the screen shows the accounts receivable balance for the customer you have selected. The beginning balance shown is from the last billing cycle. In addition, it shows the transactions that have been sent in since the last billing, so this is a month-to-date display. To go to the customer's profile, click the View, Change, or Delete Customer button. When the Customer Profile screen appears, you can make your change by simply clicking on the appropriate field, then click Save Changes. You can then enter another customer number to make changes to that customer, remembering to click Save Changes. If you plan on making the same change to many customers, you can use the Set Active Field button. Refer to the Making Changes to Multiple Customers in this video. If you want to delete a customer, click one of the two delete boxes. Remember that clicking one of these boxes does not actually delete the customer. It simply marks it for deletion. It is actually deleted during the next billing cycle run. If the balance for the customer you are deleting is zero, then clicking either box will cause the customer to be deleted during the billing run. However, as a safety feature, the system will not delete a customer who owes you money or who has a credit balance. You must put in an adjustment to zero out the customer's balance in order to have the system actually delete it. If the customer owes you money and you want the system to continue to bill that customer for the previous balance, click Delete, Continue, to Bill. Otherwise, click Delete, No More Bills.